start by rolling some oven baked clay running your hands to soften it. Once you've got it softened, you just want to form it into a long cylinder. That's going to be the base of your antenna. So you just want to kind of smoosh it around and shape it with your fingers to make it as even as possible, and then curve it over to one side. And then you want to take another small piece and make an oval with an indent in it. I'm kind of doing a cross between the original series and Dorian's and the later ones here. And then you just put that little piece on the end of your antenna stem. Do that to make two of them. So then you want to take a toothpick and run it through the base of your antenna. And that'll make the wig hole. And then you'll just bake your antennas until they're hard. And so then just color the inside of the antenna, the very end of it, kind of a mauvey color or a maroon, something kind of a darkish red. And then the base of it you'll just do in your Endurian blue color. And then back on the inside you'll do some red lines and always make sure you have a cat trying to rub your hands. It makes it so much easier. So you'll go until you have lines like that. You'll do that to both of them. And so then get yourself a white wig to use for your Andorian. You just want to take some thread that's about the same color blue as your antenna and then place your antenna on the wig so you know where it sits. You can carefully hold the antenna in place while you slip the wig off. And then you'll just take that needle and thread and you run it through the hole in the bottom of the antenna that you made earlier. And I only made uh, one hole going one direction, but if you make a hole going the opposite direction as well, um, you can run thread through both of those. You just want to run the thread through several times and then tie it off tight on the bottom. And that'll hold the antenna in place. And then just cut off any excess thread that's left after you tie it on the bottom of the wig. And again, I only used one hole, but if you do another one going the opposite direction, then you can run thread through both the holes, and that'll keep the antenna from moving around. Mine moves around a little bit, because I only did the one hole, so if you do two holes, it'll make it a lot more sturdy. And then you can just arrange the hair around the antenna to hide the base of that. So here it is with both the antenna on it. And so for the face paint, um, I just put a drop of food coloring in some white lotion, and I mixed it all together. And um, I tried to get it as close as I could to the color of the antenna. It's a little darker, um, but you just kind of have to play with it, um, adding more lotion as you need to to soften the color blue or more food coloring, whichever you need to get the appropriate color. And then you want to throw in some arrowroot powder and stir that in as well, and that'll give it a thicker consistency to make it easier to paint on. Um, there's no exact measurements. You just kind of go until it makes a good painting consistency. So then you just paint that on your skin. You have to do this in several layers um, in order to get a good color coverage, but um, if you just do it several times, it does give a pretty good skin coverage. And then I started to paint my face and my camera battery died and I didn't know it, so I don't actually have any live um, footage of me wearing the stuff because I'd already rubbed my face off uh, after I realized the battery had died and I didn't want to put all that gunk back on. So uh, here's a still that I have, and you want to make sure um, that you try your wig on before you paint your face. Uh, you can kind of see here that um, I didn't try mine on, so I didn't paint my forehead up high enough. So you can see my forehead under the wig, so test your wig out first. And then I just did my lips with a little blue lipstick, and right next to my eyes I did some blue eyeshadow because I didn't want to get this lotion paint too close to my eyes.